Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this is going to be an explanation for X-23, the way they're using her in the movie, the future of the Wolverine character. So let's break it down. The real point of the latest trailer is just to give you a better idea for the story and confirm the fact that it is the Laura Kinney X-23 character. So if you have no idea who that is, she is the 23rd attempt to replicate the Weapon X program because the sample they had was damaged she wound up becoming a female clone instead of a male clone like they had originally intended. But the person in charge of the program, Xander Rice, is actually the son of someone that Wolverine himself killed in the original Weapon X program. So he has a beef against Wolverine, but this clone is created from his genetic material. And she has adamantium claws, but her skeleton is regular. So one of the biggest questions I had in my trailer video yesterday was how does she grow if she has adamantium bones? And I almost forgot, there actually is a new round of the Deadpool giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. It's a $20 Comixology gift card. But in the same way that Wolverine revolted, just completely went berserk after he came out of the tank in the Weapon X program, so does Laura Kinney. And the reason she's named Laura Kinney is because one of the other people in that program was named Dr. Kinney. She was tasked with raising her. So the movie does a good job of explaining that where like the little girl has a mother, but technically because she's a clone, she has no mother. She's just a piece of Wolverine. So she's the closest thing that he has to a daughter. And I know a lot of you are asking about Dakin, Wolverine's son from the comics. I'll do a separate video about that because it's a completely separate thing. But they're trying to keep the movie as simple as possible. So in this universe, there is only X-23. There's no Dakin. So X-23 is raised in captivity of sorts for about seven years, training with the doctor that was responsible for creating her. But the person in charge, Xander Rice, isn't happy with the progress she's making. They're trying to train a killer here. It's the Weapon X program. But she's just this normal little girl. So he creates something called the Trigger Scent and uses it on Dr. Kinney, causing Laura, X-23, to hulk out on her and kill her best friend. So make all the Trigger jokes you want, but that's basically what's happening in these trailers here, where she goes into berserker rage to try and save Logan from these people. In the context of the movie in these scenes, it's just a little bit different because you have a really old Logan. It's like 2029. That's the year. So it's set way after that Days of Future Past post-apocalyptic timeline. You remember at the end of that movie, they fix things? So imagine this taking place well after that. The director said he wanted to be far enough away from those events that there wasn't any mixing or matching with plot lines. Like this wasn't just the next episode. This was like way further in the future. So most of Logan's regeneration powers have waned. He doesn't heal as fast and it hurts him to fight. So he doesn't want to fight, but the X-23 character is fresh off the genetic printing press. She has all of his ferocity. So she's like this exacto blade of rage, whereas Wolverine is kind of like the dulled instrument. So he can still totally hulk out when he needs to, when he's pushed over the line. But for the most part, you have to imagine that he is a lot like the older Professor X here. He just doesn't look it. So he's very tired. And Professor X is another matter too. That's like a whole other video. The death of Professor X. There have been about 10 times in the comics that Wolverine has died. There have also been a couple big story arcs where they've killed off Professor X. But the adamantium, so like I said, she has a regular skeleton, but just adamantium claws. That's how she grows normally. So what happened is, is they bombarded her with radiation to force the activation of her X gene, just in the same way the Deadpool movie bombarded him with all kinds of tests to try and activate his X gene. Once she does, they bond her claws with adamantium, and then she makes her escape Wolverine style, just in the same way he hulks out and just kills everybody and runs off. But because she's so mad at Wolverine for making her creation possible. She killed her best friend. She thinks of herself as a monster. So she goes after the only person she knows is ultimately responsible. So she blames Wolverine and tries to track him down. A bunch of people close to her die, but then once she finally tracks Wolverine down, they come to terms. He explains that he knows what's going on and she gets arrested by Captain America. 
So the Avengers, the heroes, the X-Men, they feel like she's not responsible for all the deaths that are on her head as she tried to escape. She goes on to start leading a normal life trying to be a superhero in the Marvel Universe. But you still have Xander Rice and the Weapon X people in the reverse of this movie trying to track her down. So in the comics, she was already fully grown when she tracked Wolverine down. She's still just a little girl in this movie. But what does that say about the future of the character? So we understand her past now. We know what she does in the movie. She's basically like a Wolverine that's fresh off the printing press. Totally badass. Totally ferocious. But what are they going to do? If this movie is so far in the future, are they going to use the character? So the director said that he didn't intend for her to take Wolverine's place or his mantle, but he hopes the fans embrace her like they really enjoy the character. So he makes it sound like the end of this movie doesn't suddenly time travel into the past, like there's no crazy twist. It's just a bookend for the character where she just goes on and tries to lead a normal life, whatever ends up happening to the Wolverine character. So with that in mind, that just leaves the other X-Men films to reboot the character with another actor if they want, if they're not going to do a Deadpool-Wolverine crossover, which I do think is still very possible. But the real opportunity here for X-23, her future in the X-Men universe, I think is with the X-Force movie. So Wolverine has a long history with X-Force. It's like a more hardcore version of X-Men. I've already done a couple X-Force videos, so I'll add links at the end of this. But during Volume 3... X-23 joined the team, so you could just do a version of that. So you get your Wolverine character, even though it's not Wolverine. They don't have to completely reboot the character ahead of schedule. They can still leave room for Hugh Jackman to come back and do a Deadpool crossover if he wants. I think it's going to be a couple years before they even talk about what's going to happen with Wolverine going forward. But X-23, still wide open. So let me know. They do X-Force, which they are doing. That movie's in development. Do you want them to include the X-23 character? But because of all the timeline problems, there's a couple hoops that you have to jump through. So I'd be cool with whatever version they want to go with. If they want to go with the young version, just like in this movie, or if they want to go with a fully grown clone, that'd be great too. Let me know, how do you want Laura Kinney to appear in the other X-Men movies? The beauty of all this is that it sounds like there's going to be a soft reboot for the main X-Men films anyway. So I feel like Whatever they decide to do, it'll totally be cool. As long as it's a good movie, that's all people care about. But just remember, the Deadpool movie is actually going to give birth to X-Force because Cable has to come first. So this is all a couple years down the road. So there's plenty of time to figure it out. But let me know in the comments, what kind of X-Men universe videos do you guys want me to do going forward? I know you guys are big fans of Deadpool, big fans of Wolverine. But if there are any X-Men related videos you guys want me to do or explainers, just let me know in the comments. Speaking of reboots, they just started announcing the actors that are on the short list for the Green Lantern movie. It will probably change, but it's actually a pretty interesting list, and it involves Bradley Cooper. There's a hilarious story about his audition for the original Green Lantern movie that he lost out to Ryan Reynolds on. So I'll probably do a video for that on Saturday. There's also some new Star Wars Episode 8 that I'm going to post, so it's going to be great. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here to learn all about The Rock joining the DCEU as Black Adam. He is going to wreck everything. It's going to be awesome. And you can click here to learn all about what's going on with Deadpool 2. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.